It is time. I have seen all the comments. So for today's color challenge, we're building with blue. Before we can start building, there are just a few things we have to let the wheel decide. It's so fun if I get to pick everything. Our first category for the wheel to pick is plot size. Previously, we got 20 by 20 and 25 by 30, but today we're gonna get 15 by 30. Now we get to find out how many rooms we have to decorate. I really hope we never get one. One would be so boring. Please don't be one. Eight rooms. That's what we got last time. Now that we know the amount of rooms, what will actually be in them? I saw some comments suggesting that I should add some more rooms to the list of rooms. So adding on to what we already have, we could possibly get a pet room, a theater, a music room, a gaming room, a walk-in closet, or an aquarium. We got eight rooms, so we spin eight times. The first room is gonna be a pet room. The second room is gonna be a library. The third room is gonna be a kitchen. The fourth room is gonna be a bathroom. The fifth room is gonna be a bedroom. The sixth room is gonna be a gaming room. The seventh room is gonna be a walk-in closet. And the final room is gonna be a living room. Stop, this is actually so fun. We got three of the new rooms added to the list. Besides the regular house things that we normally build, this time we get to make a pet room, a gaming room, and a walk-in closet. Now the real question is, how many floors is this house gonna have? The first time we did this color challenge, we got a two floor house. Last time we got a three floor house. So why do I feel like we're gonna get four floors this time? Please don't be four. Please don't be four. Please don't be four. <gasps> It's four. I told you. I just had a feeling and that's what happened. Anyway, our final spin will tell us the style. Modern. Okay, well, it looks like I'm building a modern house in a 15 by 30 plot that has four floors. This is gonna be interesting. This took a while, but I found a way to make it work without it looking like an apartment. Trust me. I tried this a few times and I kept getting something like this, but ta-da! Welcome to my modern split level. Since modern is a very clean style, I only use two blocks for the entire house. I use this solid blue block for the walls and these blue planks for the floors and the roofs. Oh, and I was also lucky to have some blue leaves in my game so I can make some modern outdoor plants. Anyway, here is the outside of the build. It's, uh, it's basically many squares squished together, but I think that's modern. And it just so happens to fit perfectly in the 15 by 30 plot. Now, when we go inside, we are greeted with, well, there's kind of a lot going on. One, there is a lot of glass everywhere because I, I don't know, I think a lot of glass is modern. And two, because this is a split level, four level home, we have a bunch of stairs and little spaces. Obviously, this is the entryway where you can take four different paths. If we go down to the left, we'll find that the gaming room and library share this space. Through the doorway next to the main stairs is the bathroom. Through the doorway on the right, we have a bedroom. And then through this doorway, we have a walk-in closet. I actually left a space open here as well, so you could access the bathroom from the closet or the main hallway. Not that anyone actually lives here and has to pee in Minecraft, but you know, realistically, I thought this layout made the most sense. Now back towards the entryway and up the stairs to the left, we have a kitchen. Then above the kitchen, we have this little lofted space that I thought would be perfect for a pet room. Since the pet room requires a bit of climbing to get to, I was thinking that we could have a bunch of cats up here, but we'll do that later. Lastly, if we head down the ladder and go up these stairs, we'll find the living room that has two fancy balconies. But okay, now that we know the layout of this place, it's time to decorate. Starting with the living room, instead of doing fluffy couches like I normally do, I want to keep it really simple and modern with these. Now, unfortunately, these don't connect into a big sofa uh, like these ones do. So instead, we can make this like a fancy, formal, modern sitting room. Okay, let's see. Let's get rid of that. We want to center this on the wall like this. We could have a table in the middle with a blue lamp on top and we could mirror that on this side. Now obviously, the space in between these chairs, 
is kind of awkward. So we could either add a carpet in the middle or we can add a big table with carpet around it. That's not bad, though it is kind of weird that um there's no carpet under the table. I can't physically fit any there, so we're just gonna pretend that we don't see that. Since this wall is pretty bare, I did find two things that we could potentially decorate it with. We have a box with a plant in it or a clock. So we could do something like this or clocks. I actually like them both. The plants are nice, but the clocks could be like one of those modern wall features that displays different time zones. Now that this part of the room is done, we need something over here. I have these cute cubbies that have blue baskets in them that we can use as like a decorative table area. We have these pretty blue candles, a blue orchid plant, and then we have these funny looking modern pots. Now for the kitchen, I'm actually kind of excited because I found these. Look how pretty that counter is. I don't think I've ever used these ones before. Look at those modern counters. They're beautiful, but we can't just leave it uh, like that. <laughs> Need to break this one so we can have a fridge. Then we'll break these two so we can have a double sink. And over here, we can add a furnace and I know it's not blue. So I'm gonna cover it with some trap doors. And if somebody wants to use it, they'll just... <laughs> I have to open it. But above here, we are gonna add some wall cabinets. And then as I always do, we're gonna add an island. Ta-da! We've got an island, some little blue bar stools, and some plates. Now to fill in these empty spaces, I was thinking about taking an untraditional approach to a kitchen table. So instead of having like a big table, since we um we don't actually have room for that, we can have a tiny table over here and another one over here. It's kind of weird, but it's also kind of cool. Moving on to the gaming room, I thought it'd be really cool if we made a dual PC gaming setup with a console gaming area in the middle. We could put a desk over here, a desk over here, and then obviously we're gonna add a PC. Here's one, here's two. Then each desk can have a monitor with a keyboard and a mouse. And we can also add some chairs. In the middle of this giant empty wall, I wanna add a TV for the console games. I know the TV is not blue, but we have no choice, we have to use it. Also, this TV is actually really small, so we're just gonna, uh add a bunch of them so we can have a giant TV. On either side, we could decorate with those plant boxes that I found earlier. And then below the TV, we'll just add like a little drawer unit. And now I could add a couch to this space, but I feel like it would be way more cozy if we added a plush carpet on the floor with some pillows. Okay, now because the gaming room and the library kind of share the same space, I mean, I did add this to kind of define each area, but I want to separate it more. And I just thought of the coolest idea. First, we're going to break up the wall a little bit so we can add a bunch of bookshelves. And then I want to mirror this on the other side. Ta -da! Now you're probably wondering what the heck I'm doing, but just wait, 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 wait. It's going to be so cool. We're going to fill in the rest of this wall so that everything is even. Then we can add some some chairs with some tables in the middle, some lamps, of course, and then we'll add some wall decor. We'll add some plant boxes and some item frames so it kind of looks like a gallery wall. In the middle of the room, we can add a carpet, and then along this back wall, we can add a fireplace. Ta-da! Now you're probably thinking, Catherine, that's a really nice library, but how are you getting into the gaming room? Well, with the power of my texture pack, we have secret doors. Look at how cool this is! They look like bookshelves, but they're not. So now when you walk into the house, it looks like very nice, very modern. Ooh, a fancy library. And then bam, secret gaming room. For the bathroom, I'm just gonna keep it simple by adding a bunch of counters along this wall. Then we can break this one and this one to have some sinks. We could add some mirrors. And then these cute soap dispensers. Across from the vanity, I want to add a toilet and a tub, but I don't have a blue tub or toilet, so we're gonna have to use stairs and trap doors again. Beautiful. On to the bedroom. You know, I don't decorate ceilings that often, and this ceiling looks like it could be decorated. Huh, that looks kind of cool. Instead of a feature wall, we have a feature ceiling. But okay, for the rest of this room, I found these bedside tables that I thought were cool and modern. Between those, we can add some slabs for a headboard. Then we can just add three blue beds and three blue slabs. On each of these nightstands, we can go ahead and add some blue lamps. And then above them, I want to add some more of these plant boxes. On this back part of the bed, we could just add some blue plants. And then we can add a carpet. For the walk-in closet, I actually just got 
rid of the window that was over here and I added a small one on that wall. That way we can use this whole area for closet space. I'm thinking we could add some drawers over here. On the ends, we could have some cupboards. Next to that, we could have these shelves. Then in the middle, we can add a really big mirror like this and we can make it look like one big built-in unit by adding some slabs on top. Over here, I was able to break a few blocks so we could have some more shelves. In the corners, we could add some little benches so that we can sit and put our shoes on. And then in the corners, we can have some armor stands. And now that that's done, there's only one more room to decorate, the vet room. We could add some platforms above the window for cats to climb on. We can make some cute kitty trees out of these tables. We can add a water bowl over here in case they get thirsty. And over here, we can add a fish bowl. In the middle of this space, we can add a carpet. And then we need toys with this invisible item frame we can add some string on the floor and then we can add a creeper plushie this room is adorable and now all it needs is some cats you know what's funny i actually have a blue cat in my texture pack what are the odds of us getting a blue cat on our first spawn egg honestly probably really low but let's try <gasps> hey bud oh my gosh he's already using the kitty tree <gasps> another one hello friend oh you know what we need blue collars. <laughs> well, now that we have some cute blue cats, our modern split level home is complete. As you saw earlier, this is the outside of the house. And as you go inside, you'll first see this awesome entryway. Down to the left, we have a library with a bunch of books and a fireplace. Behind this secret bookshelf door, we have a gaming room. Then across from the library, we have the bedroom with a fun ceiling, a blue bed, and blue decorations, of course. Next to the bedroom, we have the walk-in closet with our blue armor and our clothes on our shelves. Then through this door, we have the bathroom with our sink, our soaps, our toilet, our tub. And if we keep going this way, we end up in the main hallway. Upstairs and to the left, we have our modern kitchen with our island and our weird little uh tables. Up here, we have the living room. And then at the top of this ladder, we have the pet room. Well, that's the entirety of this blue house. What do you think? Do you have a favorite room? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.